Okay, this is how I fit a tomahawk handle. I'm sure a lot of other people do it this way. First take a pencil, go around the inside of the head like that. Take your handle, boom. Get a couple of boards like that, just something to support the head. You can see the marks the pencil makes on there. Then uh, line that up with the center of the handle. That looks like it's going real good. There's a marker on the top. Just so I know where the top of the head is, you'll see in a minute. Tap that back off. And then just file away the pencil. You see where that pencil mark lets you know where the top of the head is, kind of like, you know, just a reference. You just keep doing that uh, slowly. It'll work up here, close to the top. And uh, what you get is the wood will contact the inside of that head completely all the way around. So you end up with a handle that won't wiggle for a longer period of time. Of course, uh, it's always gonna end up getting loose. Every ax, every anything, you know, a chunk of wood stuck and a hammer or axe or whatever is going to get loose after time. But the, the positive is when you have them fit close like that, very close, uh, you can fix that, not just by pounding it in further. Of course, that's something you could do at the time. Uh, but a way you can fix it to where it's almost like new is uh, tap the handle back out of the head, put a layer or, or two of typing paper around the handle. Nowadays that's called computer paper. <laughs> Keep it wide like that, you know, the, the amount of paper. Then slide the handle back on there. Make sure you get your paper lined up inside of the head, you know, so you can pull it down while you put the head up. So you have paper on both sides of the head, you know, it's neatly wrapped around there. Then get a setup like this, tap that handle in good and solid. Then uh, get some wood hardener. This is just like water, but it, it isn't. <laughs> and uh, put a couple of drops of that. Just keep putting drops of that around there on that paper. Uh, you know, you'll see it absorb into there. Finally, it won't absorb anymore. Uh, before that, you should cut the excess paper off just with an X-Acto knife or something like that, top and bottom. And, uh, you know, just make sure all that paper is saturated with a wood hardener. Let it dry. I got two tomahawks I've had for years uh, that eventually loosened up about February. They end up loosening up. And uh, I did that to them, and they've been fine for quite some time now. Uh, seems to be a good fix. You know, so you can, you can have the same handle for a long time. Uh, now, some people uh, will fit a handle, I believe, is a totally incorrect way to do it unless it's just like a really fast fix it job you know uh that's where they'll use a hydraulic press like this and uh press that handle in just drive it in right from there you end up with curls of wood at the top of the head that's how you can tell someone did that what it does is it tears up the wood that should be contacting the inside of the head. Tears it up really bad. You don't get as much contact and that type of a handle will loosen. It'll be really tight up here at the top and the bottom it's gonna be loose because that wood is just, you know, tore up real bad. Uh, anyways, that I could do in uh, a couple of minutes. This way of doing it, 
the way all of our tomahawks have been done, the way they always will be done, uh, takes about an hour to fit that handle in there. But uh, anyways, I'll come back when I have this almost done. See you then. Okay, I'm back now. So I got this further along. Good. I'll leave that much sticking out of the top. I'll end up cutting that off right about there. There.